It is great to see such a large and enthusiastic group here. Are you ready to go in and learn some more about weather? Yeah. All right. I was actually glad to see that we had a little bit of rain earlier this morning, that it wasn't sunny and 60 degrees. We know how infrequently we get that here in Seattle, and the temptation would have been to go someplace else. We're also very excited to be hosting the American Meteorological Society Convention Conference this week. We have world-class scientists from all over that are converging on Seattle. And although they may have different levels of education, of expertise, of where they happen to be from, they share one thing with each and every one of us and each and every one of you. And that is they're tremendously enthusiastic and excited about the weather. And so you're going to get an opportunity to meet a lot of interesting people, see a lot of interesting things. I have a couple of people before we cut the ribbon that I'd like to introduce to you. And one is standing over there with the camera, Ted Beener. Ted and I have been serving as local co-chairs, and Ted has put in a lot of hard work in making this happen. So give Ted a big round. And to Ted's boss is over at the National Weather Service for freeing him up mostly to do this. So thanks to Ted. MJ McDermott, come on up here. So MJ with 213. She's got a couple words. She worked very hard with us on the committee as well. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we had a good committee putting this together. How many kids do we have here today? Just go, woo! job on the air, be it a Q13 or any of the stations. Thank you so much for your help. Well, on behalf of this work, yep. on behalf of the University of Washington, welcome. You know, we have the most amazing weather in this area. It's diverse and interesting, and you'll learn a lot about it in there today. You'll also learn a little bit about science and how the atmosphere works and how physics works, so it's going to be really fun. And thank you very much, Jeff and Ted running this thing. It's been great. So thank you. And we have one other person we'd like to recognize locally, and that's Ray Hoffman from the City of Seattle. Good afternoon. In behalf of the Mayor and the City Council the City of Seattle, I'd like to welcome you. I'd like you to know that for the city, we follow weather every day because it's important in all the work that we do out in the streets and in the fields. And all this weather really requires you guys to understand both science and math. So did you know that there's over 90,000 drops of water in a gallon of rain? Or did you know that North Seattle is on the southern end of the convergence zone? And we need to know how to calculate how much water is in the snow so we'll know whether or not we have a good water supply. So have fun, learn a lot, and enjoy the show. I sound like a cell telephone ad. Microphone now, and that should help in understanding us a little bit better. We'd like to also thank some of our uh, local mascots. We have Wayne Rob from the City of Spanish, correct? I should know that. And we have Doppler from Seattle Storm, championship team. And over here we have representing First Green Eagle standing by. Now we know you're waiting to get in, but I'd like to introduce somebody very important, and that is Dr. Pink Lamone, who's been the president of the American Meteorological Society. Dr. Lamone, if you would come up and take my hand is off to you. I would like to welcome you on behalf of the American Meteorological Society. We are having our 91st annual meeting here this year, and every year for the last 10 years, as part of the annual meeting, Weather Fest to share with you our love for weather and incidentally, maybe making people know a little more about our science. 
There will be a lot of fun activities here. Um, you will be able to do some experiments. You will be able to see a lot of weather broadcasters. And you will be able to practice yourself. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, I would like to hand to you. I have to Great time. One, two, three. 